Hello everyone, Punjabi Cyclist here. I'm really happy today. Got this Insta 360 One X2. Lovely. Those are video You know, from every angle you want. Lovely. I'm really excited to start using this. But before I start using it, the bug hole I think the bill they can cook here. China do I add bug? Let's have a look. Lovely. I think he's man. It is. Bra party. The bus quite heavy actually. Oh, there's a lovely piece of kit. One X2. Oh, looks gorgeous. Really can't wait to use that one. So that's the lovely bit. And then we got the lovely lens cap. It's got two lenses on this side, so this actually protects the lens because I got lens to begin the fear. Then we got another problem to deal with. This is the spare battery because normally the battery lasts about just over an hour. So I thought I'd get another battery. So this is the invisible selfie stick, which uh, I'm going to be using most of the time. So it shows sh the good thing about this invisible st stick is that it doesn't show in the nazar on the when you're taking the pictures. But like that, one that catches it, no. Shoot kar and then I got this uh, motorcycle mount kit instead of the bike mount which I'll explain in a bit the main reason why I bought this lovely piece of kit was to take some nice 360 shots of myself because if you've seen my videos they always front on with my GoPro on my chest or I'm actually holding it with my arm and you don't really see the full 360 view of me cycling from the front or somebody behind me or from the rear view or taking a drone shot and plus I want to see myself in those shots as well in terms of seeing how my pedaling how my pedaling technique is how am I positioning the bike could I learn anything from that so it's for myself as well as for you guys to see some lovely shots of me the reason why I bought this 1x2 instead of the 1RS is the RS has two twin cameras there has the 360 camera Plus it has the normal camera that you have on a GoPro. Because I already have a GoPro, I don't need the twin camera, the RS. I only need the 160, sorry, 1X2 just for the 360 shots. One of the guys, Ben, big shout out to Ben as well, because I was uh, confused between deciding between an X, 1X2 and 1RS. So Ben was mentioning that I should really get, if I already have a GoPro and I only want 360 shots, 1X2 is the one to go with. So big shout out to Ben on that one. So for advising that it took quite a bit of time to make sure I get the right stuff. The main thing is you make sure you have the lens cap that actually comes with the kit uh, because the lens cap is important. It's got two lenses on the one X. The main reason why I got this motorcycle mount and not the bike kit because which is the default is because the motorcycle mount is got a strong mount because I'll be mounting it on the stem of my bike and then the 120 centimeter selfie stick will be going right in front of me and it needs to hold there and not drop off and the motorcycle mount is quite strong it's much more firm than the bicycle mount i don't want the camera hitting the ground so i want to have a big shout out to patrick de lorenzi for recommending this motorcycle mount so well done on Patrick for that. So now I'm ready to open up the one X2 Daba. Have a look at the specs. 5.7K 360 capture, stabilization, invisible selfie stick in the box, the one X2 battery, charging cable, quick guide, warranty card, and a protective pouch. Okay on the bug holy on. China to the fit demo. Okay, here we go. Lovely. Here we go. Lovely the bar nice packaging there's the lovely 1x2 nice chota camera you know looks lovely two lovely cameras there and there we go at the back they put the lovely invisible selfie stick goes in here which is the main purpose of this that's where the 360 magic happens and the invisible selfie stick so the dubbish put the key here open the accessory box already had a charging cable lovely pouch on to protect the 1x and the user starter guide we got the um, lens cap which goes on top of here protects the lens lovely then the pouch which this goes in here invisible selfie stick very important it's quite a long one then all the other mounts came for the from the motorcycle bundle so this is the main one which i'm going to use on the stem and the seat post mount and then this selfie sticks goes on here at the front of the bike and you can put this also on the seat post and you can extend it at the back get proper lovely 360 views and this is the helmet mount which i might use or might not depending and these are all the mounts that comes with it so go to the app store search for insta 360 and 
That's the first one up there. Hit download. Now we hit open and we need to make sure we accept the privacy agreements. You have to give permissions to all these requirements for the app local network yes all has to be yellow ups then it go to app connect to your one x2 this is uh, very important to download the app because this is where all your recordings will come to so that's it we're done lovely now i'm going to show you how you use the mount motorcycle mount to mount it to your bike to the stem and to the seat post okay so this is the clamp that's going to clamp onto your stem or your seat post now first thing what you need to do is you need to undo this screw because you need to get this ball in here and now we have it so then you need to tighten this first so now it's ready to be clamped to the seat post or the stem you need to make sure you tighten this properly Oops, almost there. And there we go. So the selfie stick is in there. Now I'm going to show you how to clamp this to the seat post. So we're going to make sure it's in the right place. And I think that should do it. There we go. And now I'm going to adjust this. Okay. And now we're going to extend the lovely selfie stick. And there we go. Once you have the clamp on the seat post, you can always move it around to the left or to the right of the wheel to show you how you're pedaling. After using the Insta360 ONE X2 for a couple of weeks, here are my initial thoughts. Now in terms of the good, firstly, the ONE X2 is brilliant for taking shots from almost any angle and you can edit them by using the Insta360 software after the event. Secondly, the invisible selfie stick is absolutely awesome. It gives the impression that somebody else is actually filming you, that I can go on my lovely rides and do lovely recording. Thirdly, the motorcycle mount compared to the bicycle mount is really solid. You can mount it to your stem to get shots from the front of the bike or to your seat post to get shots from behind the bike. And the good thing is it stays in place. It's a solid heavy duty mount and it makes sure your One X2 stays in place. You can use the invisible selfie stick and the One X2 to take lovely drone shots or other shots. So when you're going out riding, you don't have to carry the motorcycle mount all the time. Now onto the slight downsides. Number one, the when you're editing the video in the Insta360 app or the desktop, you might get some stitching errors. What's happening is these two cameras are trying to stitch the image together to give you a 360 view. So in your footage, you might have some stitching errors. Secondly, these two lenses 
are very sensitive. Now, if you compare that to the, my GoPro here, you can see there's a special co uh, another covering on top of the lens, which protects it from scratches. Whereas these ones here, there's no extra protection. You can get a premium lens guard for about 50 pounds, which actually goes over these two lenses. So you got the you clip from here, and then you clip from here. So now that's secure. The good thing is this is secure. It's not going to fall off. So this will protect, especially when I've got this camera on the stem mount and I'm pointing on the ground. The other issue is that in so if you do your 360 footage and move the camera around, you might, you will mo most likely see, you'll see this plastic light and plastic covering here showing in your footage. But for me, it's not a major issue because I'd rather protect the lens is the third item I've noticed over the weekend while using it. They will only pair with Apple AirPods. I've tried pairing to my Beats. It wouldn't pair, it would not pair to my Beats. It doesn't pair to any other headsets. Overall, was it a good purchase? Oh, definitely. This was definitely a good purchase. I could not wait to get this One X2 in my hand, especially I can do all the 360 recording. Lovely, the invisible selfie stick, oh, that's just awesome. Uh, it gives the image that somebody else is recording. So definitely a worthwhile purchase, as well as my GoPro. They both have a place in my recording toolkit. They both deliver quality footage. So if you guys find this video useful, if I missed anything, or if you've been using One X2 much longer than me, please provide your feedback. I'll be most looking forward to it. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Definitely, you're going to be using this more. Thank you for watching.